Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Riviera Resort to be on the move over to the 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival to check out the outdoor kitchens coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Riviera Resort. This is where we're going to start our excursion and we're going to end up in World Showcase at Epcot to take a look at some green topiary sculptures. Stay tuned because we're going to check out the cuisine at the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival's Outdoor Kitchens. Beauty and charm awaits you at Disney's Riviera Resort that's inspired by Europe and imagined by Disney. From the grand archways and porticos to the tower and terraces, Disney's Riviera Resort is a modern masterpiece of imagination, with each detail drawing upon the influence of Europe and the Mediterranean. Now let's head through the double sets of double doors into the lobby. Elegance awaits you inside of the main lobby, which is appointed with a mix of modern and classic 20th century furnishings. And over in this direction is the reception area with the front desk for check-in. At the La Boutique shop, you'll find goods and gifts inspired by Disney's Riviera Resort, as well as assorted groceries. To accommodate long-term needs, this shop offers dining options from grab and go snacks to frozen pizzas and more. It also features several curated pieces of artwork. You're likely to find something you absolutely love. What if you could take home a piece of this artwork for your own home? Don't worry. You don't have to take it off the wall. You could order your very own piece from a variety of options right inside La Boutique. This resort hotel is designed to capture all of the magic of Europe that Walt Disney fell in love with on his travels. You'll also discover a unique art collection celebrating beloved Disney characters and icons influenced by master artists who found inspiration along the European Riviera. Now let's head back in this direction towards the lobby and descend down this grand staircase here. Now let's go back outside. The outdoor ambiance is where you can find beautiful gardens, lush landscaping, all near the activity lawn and the bocce ball court. There's also the serene waterfront located adjacent to Barefoot Bay that beckons you to enjoy scenic strolls. At the Riviera Pool, sun umbrellas dot the grounds as the inviting waters cast a warm, golden glow upon the surrounding stucco facades. Pure vacation bliss awaits you at this family-friendly pool, which features a pool slide that winds around a column tower. Sivu Play is an interactive water play area for junior explorers that's inspired by the grand public fountains of Europe, featuring a ballet of friendly Fantasia characters. At the Athletique Fitness Center, invigorating workouts await. This is where you can lift weights, jog, stretch and stay in shape. This resort offers not one, but two unique Mediterranean themed pools. For a quieter afternoon, the Beau Salil pool beckons you to unwind alongside shimmering waters in a soothing setting where you can bask in the fun at a more serene pool that offers inviting relaxation.
discover the Disney Skyliner, where you can climb aboard aerial gondolas and cruise around the Walt Disney World Resort in style. Now let's take to the skies. Let's follow the ramp down, make a left, head past security screening, and into the International Gateway at Epcot. We're now inside the theme park. The magic of possibility welcomes you to Epcot, where you're about to have some fun doing the impossible. Celebrate springtime with the 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, bursting with thousands of blooms, taking place now until July 4th. Here at Epcot, in World Showcase, it offers inviting destinations with colorful sun-soaked Mediterranean countries like France, Morocco, and Italy, where you can experience the architecture, culture, and people from these host countries. Let's take a look and see what they have on the menu. This outdoor kitchen in France offers food like a croissant with goat cheese, herbs, and roasted garlic. In addition, they have the Nicosi sandwich on house-made bread with albacore tuna. They also have the French green lentil salad with bacon and garlic sausage. And for dessert, they offer a caramelized beignet filled with vanilla cream. And don't forget the alcoholic beverages. The France Bouquet Gardens is where you can see bountiful blooms, perfect for a bouquet of cut flowers. Then, discover green topiary structures inspired by Disney characters from Beauty and the Beast, like Belle and the Beast, both cultivated with care by Disney's horticulture team. Don't forget to glance at Lumiere and Cogsworth topiary as well. Meander past a fresh collection of imaginative spring gardens, including the Spice Gardens near the Morocco Pavilion. You could really smell the spearmint, parsley, and the fennel. The warm terracotta tiles and carved plaster buildings are topped with green roofs amidst the winding alleys and stuccoed archways that add to the charm and beauty of this jewel of North Africa at the Morocco Pavilion. The bazaar is where visitors can dive into the authentic Moroccan life full of flamboyant colors sounds from the Medina, along with mystic smells and incenses. The Tangerine Cafe, Flavors of the Medina, is where you can treat your senses to a healthy Mediterranean fare. Have a seat at the cafe's terrace and enjoy a seasonal traditional Moroccan cuisine. Let's see what's on the menu. This indoor location has flower and garden festival food offerings, like a Mediterranean flatbread. They also offer a vanilla, rose water and pistachio panna cotta, along with alcoholic beverages. In addition, they have some other food, like grilled kebabs with couscous, tomato onion salad, and garlic aioli, along with the stone-baked Moroccan bread.
Let's head out this doorway and make a right and head down the pathway to our next country. The romance of Venice is demonstrated in the Venetian bridges and the floating gondolas that are moored to a festive striped barbershop style poles alongside the World Showcase Lagoon. Just over here is another outdoor kitchen. Let's go see that. Let's peek at the menu items. Primavera Kitchen offers food like fried risotto balls, stuffed with braised beef, served with grape tomato salad and balsamic emulsion. They also have sweet sausage ravioli with sweet corn, spring vegetables and cream sauce. In addition, they have cream filled Italian donut with raspberry sauce and powdered sugar. And they also have the most important item, alcoholic beverages. The design of the Italy Pavilion was created to showcase the hallmarks of Italian architecture and it features a plaza surrounded by a collection of buildings representing Venetian, Florentine and Roman architecture. The pavilion is modeled after St. Mark's Square with the 83 foot tall bell tower in the central plaza representing a one-fifth scale model of an authentic replica of the original St. Mark's Campanile from the classic Italian city of Venice. At the Garden Italiano this is where you can find the Lady in the Tramp Topiary. She was a pampered pooch. He was a mutt from the hard scramble streets. They fell in love and their romance endured through to a happy ending and their own family. That's amore. In the central plaza area, at the Plaza del Teatro, you'll find the Neptune Fountain, which bubbles forth and was inspired by Rome's Trevi Fountain. Now it's time for an Epcot Center flashback. Here we are in World Showcase, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. With that said, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.